Welcome to the E Academy. In today's episode, we will explain how to configure the LED light color settings in six models of the Slimline family, that is in Slim PIR Luna, Slim Dual Luna, Slim PIR Luna Pet, Slim Dual Luna Pet, Slim PIR Pro, Slim Dual Pro. In these devices, in addition to the blue color that is set by default, there are six more colors available for the LED indicators to signal alarm or trouble. In the Slim PIR, Slim PIR Pet, Slim Jewel and Slim Jewel Pet models, however, only four colors are available. We explained the process of configuring the LED indicator in those detectors in the previous episodes. You can configure the Luna and Pro detectors using the buttons on the electrics board or the Opt1 key fob. Each of these detectors has its own configuration menu. To open it, that is to enter the configuration mode, you must press and hold down the button labeled Mode for three seconds. Alternatively, you can short to common ground the terminal labeled SRVC, what stands for service. OK, now let's set the LED color using the buttons. We will start with the model whose configuration menu is the least extensive, which in this case is Slim PIR Pro. Open the closure and turn the power on. We must wait until the startup process is completed. It lasts about 30 seconds and is indicated by the LEDs flashing in different colors. Press and hold down the mode button for over three seconds. The detector starts flashing red. The number of flashes indicates the number of the function that can be run. In Slim PIR Pro, three functions are available. PIR sensor detection sensitivity, LED color when signaling alarm or trouble, and anti-masking delay. The other two buttons located on the detector board are intended for navigation between different functions. To move forward, press plus. To go back, press minus. To change the color of the LEDs when alarm or trouble occurs, we must go to the item number two. The LED flashes twice cyclically. Press the Mode button to start the selected function. When the function is running, the LEDs start flashing green. Three flashes mean the default color, which is blue. A different number is assigned to each color. I press the plus button. Four flashes mean purple color. Five is light blue. The LED flashes six times, which corresponds to yellow. The seventh color, the last on the list, is white. Pressing the plus button takes you to the beginning of the list. A single green flash means the red color. I press the button again. Two flashes, which means green. Another press, and we go to the blue color again. OK, let's set, for example, the purple color. To confirm the selection, press Mode. The LED flashes red, which means that we are back to the list of functions. To exit the configuration mode, press and hold down Mode for more than three seconds. You will exit the configuration mode automatically 20 minutes after the last operation. OK, from now on, the LED indicators will light purple when signaling alarm or trouble. In the case of Slim PIR Luna and Slim PIR Luna PET detectors, the procedure of setting the LED light color for alarm or trouble signaling is very similar. The difference is that the configuration menu of these devices is slightly different from that discussed in the case of Slim PIR Pro. Let's compare the tables of functions available during configuration of Slim PIR Pro as well as Slim PIR Luna and Slim PIR Luna PET. As you can see, in Luna models, to choose the color of LEDs, you need to run the function number three. Navigating through the menu, as well as confirming individual options with buttons in all Luna and Pro detectors is done in the same way as we illustrated a moment ago by example of Slim PIR Pro. Besides the already discussed PIR detectors, the Slimline series includes the Luna and Pro dual models. In addition to the PIR sensor, they come equipped with a microwave sensor. In their case, the LED indicator can signal more than just alarm or trouble. 
In the Dualtech Lunar and Pro detectors, the LEDs can light up when motion is detected by each sensor, and the light color can be selected from seven available ones. By default, purple is assigned to the PIR sensor and green to the microwave sensor. If only one sensor detects motion, the LED will be lit in the selected color for about three seconds. The LEDs signal an alarm, e.g. when both PIR and microwave sensors detect movement in less than three seconds of each other. This signaling lasts about two seconds. If necessary, the signaling of motion detection by the sensors can be disabled separately for each of them. As regards the configuration menu for Dualtech detectors, it is more extensive than in PIR detectors. Let's take a look at it. In Slim Dual Pro, seven functions are available, while in Slim Dual Luna and Slim Dual Luna Pet, there are as many as 12. In this episode, we will only focus on three of them. Color of LED indicators light after motion is detected by PIR sensor, by MW sensor, and for alarm or trouble signaling. Now, using Slim Dual Luna as an example, we will show how to enter the configuration mode and change the color to signal motion detection by the microwave sensor. This time, we will use Opt1 key fob. If the detector power supply is turned on and the surface terminal is shorted to ground, the device will enter the configuration mode. The LED indicator has started flashing red. The number of flashes indicates the number of the function that can be run. Selection of the color of LED indicators after motion is detected by the microwave sensor is the function number 8. To navigate the menu, use the buttons with a white and a black circle. Press the first of them to go to the next function. The second button takes you to the previous function. The triangle button is for confirmation. Press the buttons to go to the function number 8. Count the flashes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. OK, so we can run this function. Press the triangle. The number of green flashes indicates the number of the currently selected color. By default, number 2, which is green, is set for the microwave sensor. The third color is blue. By default, this color indicates an alarm or trouble. 4 is purple. Five is light blue. Six is yellow. Seven is white. The item number eight is no light. When this option is selected, motion detection by the microwave sensor will not be assigned. Let's move to the first item, which is red. OK, now we can confirm our selection. Press the triangle button. The indicator flashing red means return to the list of functions. To exit the configuration mode that was started remotely, disconnect the service terminal from common ground. From now on, the LED indicator will glow red when motion is detected by the microwave sensor. The other two colors are still set to factory defaults, that is, purple for the PIR sensor and blue for the alarm. We have mentioned that the color with which the alarm is signaled is also used to signal trouble. All the slimline detectors have a motion detection system supervision function. They are also regularly monitoring the voltage supply. If any irregularity is detected in the operation of the motion detection system or when the supply voltage drops below 9 volts for more than 2 seconds, a trouble will be reported. This is indicated by turning on the alarm relay and lighting up of the LEDs. Finally, please remember that in all slimline detectors, the event signaling with LEDs can be enabled or disabled. When a jumper is placed across the LED pins, the indicators will be lit. To disable the signaling, remove the jumper from the LED pins. LED indicators can be extinguished so that people staying in the protected rooms should not pay attention to the detectors or be able to determine whether motion has been detected. In addition, the option of remote control of LED lighting is also available in the slimline detectors. 
If there is no jumper on the LED pins, shorting the terminal labelled as LED to the common ground will turn on the visual indication. Disconnecting the LED terminal from the ground turns off the indicator. OK, for what purpose can this capability be used? Well, for example, if the detector is used with the Integra or Integra Plus control panel, the output configured as the service mode status can be connected to the LED terminal. In this case, the signalling will only be enabled when service work is being carried out. On the other hand, if you want the LEDs to be on only during the zone operation test, the output configured as type 114 zone test status is to be connected to the LED terminal. And that's all for today. Thank you. Please watch the next episodes of the E-Academy. See you soon.